Hi, Gary here from Mr G Shave, back for another Monday Battle of the Blades, or BOTB. Um, yeah, what am I using today? It is a request by Ben Smith, uh, one of my subscribers. Um, it's a battle between, and it, it, um, I'm going to be using obviously the uh, Rockwell 6Cs, a brand new Bit Chrome Platinum Blade. in the gunmetal Rockwell 6C, that's the packaging there. Um, so it will be on plate three. So let's see if I can, I hope you can see that. Um, plate three, put the washer on, put the handle, sorry, put the base on, put the washer on screw the handle on blade alignments all good there's quite a bit of overhang on this one it feels more than oh, I don't know I'll try I'll have a look at the feather and compare how much overhang but that does feel quite a lot of overhang on this one um, it's in the right place though so there we go, and the blade that it's going up against, which was a bit of a surprise to me that this was requested, but it is the feather. So, high stainless feather blade. Brand new blade, also on plate three. Come on. Plate three. Washer, handle, let's just have a look, yeah, the, the bit chrome platinum, the overhang, I don't know whether you can see this, but the overhang, that's the bit, is bigger than the overhang of the feather. I don't know whether that's whether you can see that properly, um, but yeah, it is bigger. I can see it from the back. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. I might get my calipers on it afterwards and just do a measurement just to see the length, if there is a difference in length, um, or is it just my eyes playing? But both my eyes and my fingers are telling me that the overhang from the bit Crohn's the bit chrome is quite a lot more than that of the feather by quite a margin. So there we are. Right, that's the first difference. The um, brush, uh, sorry, the bowl I'm going to use today is the Giles Shaving Co. Shaving Bowl or Lathering Bowl. Beautiful bowl this. Um, love, love this bowl. Absolutely love it. And the brush is going to be my Sterling Soap Co brush. So there we go. I'm trying to use a few different brushes from a few different manufacturers lately because I've done a lot of shows using Yaki brushes so I want to try and use some other brushes, give them a you know a look see. Um, right okay so that's it I'm gonna get myself ready for the shave and I'll be right back. Right I'm back all ready for the shave Let's get some more agua on the face and it's going to be a bit of a, a minty, shall we say, menthol straight minty shave today. Um, Perazzo Green. This might kill the scent of this uh, the soap that I'm using today. Um, but. It's a nice scent. It's it's basically what it says on the label, um, which I'll show you in a second. But it's another seaside soap, as you've obviously gathered from the intro and the title. Oh wow, that's got some menthol in it. Great stuff, this. 
but I thought this would go rather well with um, with this particular set. And those of you that have looked at the Seaside Soap sets, I'll show you again. Um, that's the company. And I'll put the link, I think I might have forgotten to put the link to their Etsy store below. <clears throat> but I have done in previous uh, videos, so if you want me to add it to the previous video in the link below, then um, in the description below, I will add the link there. Um, but I will definitely put it in the link below this video to their Etsy store. Um, well worth a look in my opinion. Excellent soap for a first attempt. Um, I mean, there's the lather. Really nice, really nice. It's taken 12 sprays, so that's six teaspoons approximately. It's got some bubbles in it, but... Uh, and unfortunately I got the label a little bit wet and they haven't got waterproof labels but they may be uh, waterproof labels on the tins. It's peppermint. So this one is peppermint. Hence the menthol and mint shave. Um, so here goes. Just get a bit more of that on there. Glasses off. So how was your weekend? Mine wasn't as alcohol free as I thought it was going to be, but it, I didn't have a lot of alcohol. Um, the Chinese night, my daughter decided she was going to drive my car, so that meant I could have a drink. But I don't know about any of you lot, but I can't drink beer once I've eaten. I just can't. Um, it sits like a lead weight in my guts. I just don't enjoy it so I tend when I'm eating tend to be on soft drinks anyway but prior to the meal on Saturday I had two beers and then pretty much the same thing happened on Sunday for Mother's Day for, I took my mother to a pub that's literally round the corner uh, from my house um, which meant that I didn't mind having a beer which I, I had the one beer before the meal um, and that's all I've had this weekend, so not bad, not bad. Again, this this is a a great combo that I can still I can definitely smell the peppermint over the top of the cooling feeling of of the Perazzo green. Um, I did show you that, didn't I? I'm sure I did, but if I didn't, there it is, the Parazzo Green. Um, so here we go then. So the feather is in the gunmetal. And the big chrome platinum, I'm pretty sure, wait a minute, let's just have a look, I can tell. Ah, no, the big chrome platinum is in the gunmetal and the feather is in the rose gold. So there we go. Drop in my glasses. So we'll start with the beck. Really nice. Very smooth. Um, very smooth, very nice. Let's go for the feather. Use the same hand. Mm. There's a lot more blade feel. But very smooth. But you can, you can definitely feel more of the blade on the feather. So, there is a difference straight away. For me,
I don't think the Bic is as sharp either. So, for instance, just going underneath there, then it felt a little bit rougher than the than the feather. So, it's interesting. It's interesting. I mean, at the end of the day, blade preferences are very subjective. I'm just trying to give you my thoughts and opinions on on differences between the blades. The one downside for me for the Bic is the way the tabs stick out so so much more on on the razor than than the feather ones do. Um, but I like the big blades. I love the big blades. I think they're great blades. They're both great blades. Um, but right now on the first pass, I would say the feathers got it for smoothness if and efficiency. But let's see what happens. This, that, as we all know from previous experience or past experience of me doing these, my opinion can change quite dramatically between the first pass and the third and pickup pass. So, who knows? A um, bit more water, I think. God, that's cold. Oh, yeah. I do love this soap. I wasn't sure whether I was going to really like this peppermint, but I do. It's very good. It sounds like there's somebody at my door. I'm hoping somebody answers that. Yeah, I can hear the front door going, so somebody's opened the door. Lovely scent. Really nice, and again, the peppermint is definitely coming, becoming stronger. This is now the second pass. So here we go with a bit chrome across the grain. I reserve judgment. <clears throat> that was very smooth. Now across the grain on this side is straight up. Oh yeah. There's just something about a feather blade. Just goes, it really goes well with this plate, plate three on the Rockwell 6C. It's, it's smoother, more efficient. So at the moment, the, the feather's definitely winning, or the rose gold. If I've got them confused, we'll find out at the end. <laughs> but I don't think I have. The feather's definitely smoother, feels more efficient. Look. Absolutely stunning scent. Really cooling as well. Uh, uh, now I'm. Uh, I don't think this is still the Peraza that's cooling. I think this is this soap. It's it's having quite a cooling effect. I'm losing soap everywhere. Got too much water on my face, I think. So let's go for the uh, against the grain pass.
I think the feather blade works really well in milder razors anyway. Um, the Edwin Jagger with a feather in it, DE89, it, it really goes well for me. Um, usual pickup spots here, but other than that, all good. Trying to ride the cap a bit. Didn't do it on the other one, so that's a bit unfair, I know, but. That is great. <clears throat> I would say it's about equal in terms of growth that's left, but. Um, yeah. I thought I'd cut this off there, but I haven't. So yeah, it's an interesting request for a comparison because the feather, you know, the only ones I'd really compare the feather to are maybe the Nassets and the uh, Kais. You know, I think they're all in, in the very sharp bracket. Um, Oh, I have. I've drawn a little bit of blood there. Nothing much. But this is great. Okay, pick up pass. Some stubborn bits there. Perfect. That's BBS. So let's just have a quick feel around. Yeah, it's both sides BBS. The thing is, I mean, we, we compare a lot of blades and we say which ones, you know, we prefer and so on and so forth. But you can get a BBS result with pretty much any blade. Obviously, if it's blunt, you know, if it's dull, then you're not. But um, it's, I think it's down to personal preference at the end of the day. But I would say that the feather one on all three passes on that test, um, without question, which is kind of what I was expecting. And I'm not saying it because I'm biased towards the feathers. I'm not biased towards the feathers. But that is BBS on both sides. And you're gonna achieve that result whether you're using a Derby or a Voscod or a Feather or a Kai Blade. You, you're gonna get there. If you wanna get a BBS, you will get there. So, but for me, more the, the Feather was more efficient and it felt smoother than the Bic Chrome. So, winner hands down in this particular razor on that plate.
So it, it, it may behave completely differently. You might get a completely different result using a different razor or the same razor but on a different plate. So you, you just got to bear that in mind. It's your mileage may vary. So right, I'm going to clean up and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Time for the post shave. The post shave before going through all the various products, aftershaves and tonics and stuff. Post shave feel again excellent with this soap. Um, I would say the scent strength on that soap was about a four or five out of ten, and it was quite pleasant. It wasn't it's not one that I'll probably pick uh, to to buy, but it, you know those of you that like peppermint. I don't mind peppermint, but peppermint on its own, maybe not. Um, but yeah, very, very good soap though. Very good. Um, the winner today for me was definitely the feather, without question. Here we go, cold rinse. Oh. Really good. The end result though on both sides was BBS. Oh. Um, so really you could say it's a draw but that I felt I preferred the feel of the feather. I preferred um, the efficiency of the feather. Um, yeah, it, it just one hands down for me. Just one hands down. Um, let's just quickly, I better add some water to do this last bit. Let's try the alum, alum test to see if there's a difference. Okay, I've got some burn under here. And I've got some burn under here. But no real burn up here on the cheeks. And the burn is already pretty much subsided on the neck. And it was maybe a 2 out of 10. Nothing much. Um, really. And I would say it's about equal the burn on both sides in slightly different places but it's about equal and about the same amount so um, and it's gone already so that's good maybe the aftershave will give me a different message but I doubt it Excellent shave though, in, thoroughly enjoyed that. So Boots Cucumber, it's just a tonic, it's not got any witch hazel in it. Um, my mistake, I thought it was a cucumber and witch hazel. But it's very pleasant and it certainly does the job. No sting to it at all though. Um, so yeah. And then I'm following that up with Perazzo Green. Big bottle of this stuff. <laughs> but it's great stuff. Oh yeah. Really nice. Oh, fantastic. I love that Perazzo Green aftershave. I don't use it often enough, I must admit, but it always goes so well with, with a menthol cooling shave and my face is really chilled at the moment. And then I'm following that up with Nivea Men Active Age 6-in-1 Post Shave Balm. So there it is there. Excellent stuff. Just one squirt, that's all you need. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of another excellent shave. The winner today was definitely the feather. So, 
I'll get the two wrapping papers. Um, need my glasses on, I can't even see if I've got them the right way around. Yeah, that one isn't though. So yeah, the feather, definitely the winner. But the Vic Chrome Platinum is an excellent blade. I'm not, not saying this is a bad blade, but this one's better in, though, in that particular setup. In, in a Rockwell 6C on plate three, I would go for the feather every time, but that can change depending on the razor that you use. So there we go, that's it. I will see you now on Wednesday for the straight shave. Bye now.